So everybody, when we imagine this uh, new version of the Vok Talk Cafe, we decided to include a, a minute where I would present quickly a uh, technological approach or pedagogical angle that kind of fits the the, the topic of the day because um, the mandate of the RECI is to support integration of technology and teaching and learning. So, um, so today I decided to talk to you about the idea of building a, a class website uh, where students would be invited to po post their uh, contributions, either po pictures of their work, uh, items of parts of collaborative project, feedback on each other's work, information that they find on social media or the internet, personal reflection or questioning, career ambitions and stuff. So the, 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 the idea would be to promote student engagement, self-reflection, communication skills, digital literacy, all in one sphere, and a bit of an approach that is very collaborative and where the students are teaching each other. Um, there are many platforms to do that. Uh, my original idea, and it's not a mandatory, but it, it, need, it should be considered to make it public or private. If you make it public on a platform like a SharePoint or a Google site or WordPress, then there's a notion of rayonnement and, and offering it to the public that can be stimulating for students and close to the trade as well, uh, which you can't do if you use your uh, learning management platform like Teams or Classroom or Moodle. Uh, social media is a good would be a good place to do that as well, but there are, uh, and I'm going to conclude on that, ethical considerations to be taken into, uh, to be looked into. Uh, you can't force a student to open an account on a social media to participate in the class activity. Um, and also, we have to be aware that we're generating content for companies that are going to make profit out of it. So it, it's not forbidden, but it because there are considerations to uh, do uh, this.